Hello, Kamato Plus! Welcome back sa isa na namang pag-aaral ng Aralin sa Mathematics. With the knowledge on Remainder Theorem, Factor Theorem, Synthetic Division, and Factoring Techniques, we can make our lesson today easier. But how? The topic with this presentation is about finding zeros of a polynomial function. Kanina binanggit natin yung factor theorem, remainder theorem, factoring technique, and synthetic division. We will be applying that later on while we are working with the example. So alamin muna natin ang bagay na ito. A zero of the polynomial function, p of x is a value of the variable x that makes the polynomial function equal to zero or p of x is equal to zero. This means to say, ang polynomial function natin ay i-equate natin sa zero. And let's start with the example. Okay, so let's start with this example. Find the zero of p of x is equal to the quantity x minus 2 times the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 1. Mapapansin nyo na ang given natin ay naka-express sa product of linear factor. Ibig sabihin, nakapaktor na siya. If that's the case, maybe, madali nating makukuha ang sagot. So, let's start with the solution. So, sabi kanina, dun sa definition, dapat ang polynomial ay i-equate sa zero. Okay? So, we equate it already to zero. So, remember na ito yung ating polynomial. So, ang pinag-uusapan natin polynomial dito ay ito. Okay, so, in-equate na natin siya sa 0. So, that's the first thing that we are going to do. Then, after that, the factor, the linear factor ay tatlo, isa, dalawa, tatlo. Yan naman yung i-equate natin sa 0, one at a time. So, x minus 2 is equal to 0, then x plus 3 is equal to 0, and x minus 1 is equal to 0. Since na po na-equate na, na natin sa 0, solving for the value of x, makukuha na ngayon natin ang zeros of the polynomial function. So, ang kanyang 0 ay opposite sign nito, kaya positive 2. Then, opposite sign nito, kaya we have negative 3. Then, the opposite sign of this and that will be positive 1. So, ayok, nasundan natin yung first example. Proceed with the second one. Find the zero of p of x is equal to the quantity x minus 2 times the quantity x minus 2 times the quantity x minus 1 times the quantity x plus 4. So, the same thing siya ay naka-linear factors na or product of the linear factors. So, let's have the solution. We equate first that to zero. So, that will happen. So, equate zero yung mga linear factor. X minus is equal to zero. Same as the second, the third, and the fourth factor. Then, with that, makukuha na natin ang zeros niya. So, get the opposite sign. Tandaan, mga opposite sign lang lang ang kukunin natin sa bawat isa. So, we are going to get it. So, opposite sign on ay 2, opposite sign on ay 1, then opposite sign on isa ay negative. So, we have that. So, yan yung mangyayari sa atin. Ngayon, baka nagtataka kayo, bakit kaya isang beses na lang natin itong isinulat? So, yan yung tinatawag na 2 has multiplicity of 2. Ibig sabihin, dalawang beses na nagamit yung same zero with that. So, sana nagiget. So, paano naman kapag hindi na siya na nakapaktor form? So, hindi na siya nakaproduct of linear factor. For instance, we have this one. Solve the other zero of p of x is equal to x to the third plus 2x to the second minus x minus 2 given that 1, 0 is 1. So, ibig sabihin, given na yung isa sa mga 
zero. Yan, pwede na natin gamitin ang synthetic division with this process. So, gamitin na natin ang synthetic division with this. So, para makuha natin yung mga magiging zero pa niya. Pero pwede rin kayong gumamit ng ibang process. Pwede nyo gamitin ang remainder theorem with this. So, let's see. So, ang gagamitin natin ay synthetic division. Copy the coefficients. So, ang coefficients natin ay 1. Galing dito yung 1. Galing dito yung positive 2. Negative 1 here and negative 2. Then, itatryin ngayon natin yung kanyang 0. Ang 0 natin ay 1. So, you are going to solve or use that. Okay. So, Remember that we bring down the first one. So, ito yon sa synthetic. I-bring down natin. So, yan. Ginawa na natin dito. Then, this value, kita times natin sa lahat ng magiging sagot dito. Ha? Okay. So, 1 times 1 is 1. Tapos, pababa ay addition na tayo. So, 2 plus 1, that's 3. Then, 1 times 3 is 3. So, let go. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. Then, 1 times 2 is 2. The negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So, ito na ngayon yung gagamitin natin. Ito. Okay, tingin mabuti. So, yun din yung tinatawag na depressed equation of the polynomial. So, yan yan. x squared plus 3x plus 2. Para maalala, minus 1 yung degree. So, kaya yung naging to the second. Power tas pababa. So, ito yon. 1x squared or x squared then plus 3x dito naman galing pababa yung ano ha, decreasing order then plus 2 equal to 0 then yan ngayon ay quadratic equation na at sa quadratic equation pwede rin nating makuha ang value ng x remember na pag nakuha na natin na 0 siya yun ngayon yung magiging 0 niya pwede rin yang i-factor so, let's see the factor. So, factor, kukunin ng factor ng third term, 2 times 1. Pero, para ma-check, 2 times 1, ito yan ha. Para ma-check, i-add mo 2 plus 1, 3. Dapat tama sa third term. Pero, usually, ginagamit talaga yung i-multiply mo to inner part, at saka outer part. So, we have that. Then, i-equate na natin yung mga factors sa 0 or the value of that is x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to negative 1. Opposite sign pa rin tayo dito. Therefore, ang ating magiging zeros ay yun yung una, other zeros. So, yun yung 1, the negative 2, and negative 1. So, ito ngayon yung other zero na hinanap natin. So, lagyan natin ang pitiyan. Ito yung other zero na hinanap natin. Sana nasusundan. So, let's continue working with this example. Solve for the other zeros of p of x is equal to x to the third minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 10 given that 1, 0 is negative 2. So, same process with the third example. Gagamitin natin ang synthetic division. So, itatry natin ang negative 2 kasi siya na yung unang 0 para makuha natin ang depressed equation. Okay, bring down the first coefficient or the leading coefficient. Ito times natin dito. Uli, ulitin ko lang uli. Dito, ito times lahat ng makukuwang sagot dito at dito nilalagay ang mga sagot. Okay, tayo ha. The negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. The negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4. The negative 2 times negative 4 is 8. The negative 3 plus 8 is positive 5. The negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Then that's 0. So, dapat talaga 0 yung nagiging sagot kasi 0 is yung pinag-uusapan natin. So, makakuha na natin ang difference equation. Minus 1 uli. Ito yung degree. Balik tayo ng polynomial to the third. Kaya minus 1. Kaya ito magiging 1x to the second or x to the second. Minus 4x tayo dito. Again, ito x to the second. Ano? Tapos minus 4x. Tapos plus 5. So, ito yon. Okay. So, we have that. Kaya lang, pag titignan natin yung quadratic equation na yan, yung difference equation, hindi siya factorable. So, dahil hindi siya factorable, may iba pa ring technique na pwede tayong gamitin. Pwede tayong mag-completing the square. 
Pwede tayo mag-quadratic formula or extracting the square root. Pero in this case, gamitin natin ang quadratic formula. Kapag pinag-uusapan ng quadratic formula, kinukuha ang value ng a, which is 1. Yun yung sa x to the second. So, yun dito, 1. Tapos kukunin din ang value ng b, yun na yung kalapit ng x, negative 4. At ang value ng c, yung constant term. Then, using this formula, x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a or 2a. Then, substitute yung mga value ng a, b, at c na mayroon tayo. So, we have this. Negative. Ito yun, negative galing sa formula. Tapos, negative ang b natin sa given plus minus. Negative b tayo. Tapos, ang a natin ay 1. Tapos, ang c natin ay 5. Tapos, ang a ulit natin dito ay 1. Then, simplify it. So, we have that. So, pag tinimes natin, ito, we have that. So, ito, magiging positive 4. Tapos, ito, negative 4 to the second, 16. Tapos, ito ay minus 20. So, we have this, all over 4. Pag sinorb natin yung 16 minus 20 is negative 4. So, we have that. Okay, let's continue. So, 4 divide 2. Kasi yan ay 2. So, plus minus, all over 2 pa rin ito ha. So, we have that. So, pinaktor na natin ito. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Tama doon. Kasi may square root ang 4. So, we have that. Square root ng 4, 2 kaya nilabas natin. So, ang naiwan na lang sa loob ay negative 1. So, kailang pwede pa uli itong isimplify. Kaya yan ay, we have that. Okay, so let's continue working with the lesson. Therefore, ang unang zero na given na ay negative 2. Ang other zero natin ay, babalikan muna natin yung knowledge natin. Remember this one. Okay, so, wag ka kalimutan na ang ibig sabihin ay, or we call that as imaginary number. So, square root of 1 is imaginary number. Number. So, ibig sabihin ito, pwede natin palitan ng i or the symbol of imaginary number. Kaya, magiging 2 plus the imaginary number kasi plus mo na yung ginamit. Tapos, yung isa naman ay 2 minus i. Okay? So, that's it with finding the zero of a polynomial, comma to plus. God bless us!